Hello again, and welcome back to my shop. Uh, this week, I'm going to build a cart for my shop vac. Uh, I'm trying to get my shop more dust free, which is a pretty lofty goal. Uh, of course, shop vacs, they come with this cartridge filter, but the problem with the cartridge filters is that they clog up. I switched to the bags that you put inside there and you just dispose of the bag. The problem I found with these is that uh, I think it's just a constant contracting and an expansion when you turn on and off your shop vac, is that they burst. Uh, so I've ordered a HEPA filter for my shop vac to replace the bags and this cartridge. And to prolong the life of the HEPA filter, I ordered a dust deputy off Amazon. These seem to get a pretty good review. So I am going to put that together and make a cart for this, and we'll see how that goes. All right, the first thing you need to do is assemble the dust deputy. It comes with like a little caddy that you can attach the bucket to the, the shop back base or bucket, but I'm not going to use that since it's going to be in a cart. So I'm just going to get this installed first and then figure out a layout. So my current setup is the hose comes into the adapter, into the bucket, and this adapter goes right through into the bag, uh, which I have swapped to. Uh, the problem is that when you take the hose off and the adapter, it's this part of the adapter that goes all the way in to the bag. And that won't work because this coming off the cyclone doesn't really fit on here unless I was to use a bunch of tape or just do something that's that looks bad. So it does fit quite nice right into that fitting there. So I, I'm going to go with that, which is fine. I intended to go to the HEPA cartridge anyways. This is laid out close enough to how I'm going to have it. So I'm going to just cut some pieces of wood four feet long by 18 inches and that will give you enough to work with. And then I'll have the CNC cut out a hole for the five gallon bucket and also for the four wheels for the shop vac. And then I'm gonna put the whole cart on wheels. I cut my ply this morning, got it mounted onto the CNC. I did my program last night, so I'm just going to run it and get the uh, dust vacuum going. Got my plywood here, I got my stop block, so I'm just gonna throw some glue on this, flip it over, and throw some clamps on it, maybe a few screws as well.
I made this piece to fit a couple of handles. These are gonna be pointing up and go on here. I've got a hole in the bottom of the bucket here to help relieve any pressure or equalize the pressure. And I just put some little notches in here because the tolerance is pretty close. And I'm going to screw the bucket to the cart. I just used some scrap angle and some box tubing. Uh, I'm going to mill up some lumber to fit inside there. And it's going to be the handles for the cart. And they'll come up and then coming off that, I will uh, make something that comes and captures the top of the dust deputy here just to give it a little bit of uh, stability or strength because quite often you end up pulling it around by the hose. So uh, that, that should help that. I got my stock mill down to the dimensions that should fit the inside diameter. I took the corners off and so I just need to knock them in. And I don't know if it's going to help. I'm going to put a little bit of wax on there to help it Maybe slide in there. All right, that's good. So I've got some leftover three quarter inch ply and I'm gonna attach that to the piece here or these pieces. I'll put a couple screws into the base and I just have to make the part that flaps over onto here. So I designed Tam to do it because I thought it was going to cut this part first before cutting this and it needed to be held by the clamp still. So they're pretty thin so I'm just going to cut them with a exacto blade or Stanley knife and I'll put a radius on this and fit it to the cart. And I just need to mark this.
All right, I mounted my little support to a piece of hickory, and I pre-drilled a couple of holes here, so I just need to, before cutting it to length, just need to get those in the right spot again. Okay, I think we're ready for the assembly. I'm over here at my chop saw. That'd be a good little test. There's dust everywhere on the table behind it and on the floor. It's pretty fine. So we'll see how much goes into the dust deputy and how much goes onto the filter. All right, let's have a look at that filter now. I can see some of the fine dust. It did make it through the cyclone. I'm not too surprised, but I just hope that it, it prolongs the time between me having to take this outside and blow it out. So I think it worked pretty good. As I was building this, I was thinking, am I any further ahead by making a cart rather than just using the supplied hardware to attach the other bucket to your, your shop vac? And I've got cords and anti-fatigue mats and the wheels on the shop vac are too small to go over that stuff and cords. So the wheels on the cart are three inches and they, they rolled over the, the mats just fine. So I think I'm a little better off. If you have a perfectly smooth floor, I don't know that you actually need to build a cart. And now that I've built a cart specifically for my shop back, it's probably going to die. Uh, it, it is pretty old. Anyhow, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.